100,000 veterans sleep on the streets each night. It's a problem across the country and here in the Wabash Valley. News 10's Kylie Thomas and Garrett Brown joined a local organization to raise awareness and experience what it's like firsthand. The welcoming streets of Terre Haute. More than 100,000 people call this home, but for others, home is this bench on this street. Things got rougher and we had nowhere to go. Josh Terizio served the country for seven years. It's devastating. It's devastating to know that uh, you can't, you have nowhere to live and you have a baby and a wife and you can't support your family. It's, it's absolutely devastating. Josh bared several years separated from his family. He lived in the reality of not knowing what the next day would bring. I really don't know how I would describe it. An experience too difficult to put into words. But here at Operation Vanguard, it's an experience they're fighting to end. So we joined the fight for one day to see what living homeless is like. I can literally see my breath. That's a problem. We spent a night in the 26 degree weather. I didn't sleep at all. It was so cold. I don't like getting up early, but I couldn't wait to get up so I could get moving because it was that cold. I mean, there was even ice in my tent. That train went by about six times before I realized I'm going to throw some ear blows. You could hear the train, you could hear all the cars passing by, you know, and we even had a tent, which most homeless veterans don't. Even in a tent, you don't know how safe it is. Sleep and safety, these basic needs don't even compare. Being away from your family is probably one of the hardest things. To the seclusion Josh faced as a homeless veteran. Homelessness is still here. I mean, this is our third year doing it, and I still have to do it. Um, there's still a problem. A problem that inspired Scott Wynn to organize Operation Vanguard. 113 flags line the streets where we stood. Each one represents a homeless veteran that's been helped in the Wabash Valley. We're trying. We're out here all day. Participants like myself spent the day collecting donations. I just want to help out my country. All to give back to those who sacrificed everything for our country. You don't leave a soldier behind and every homeless veteran was a soldier. For all these people, they'll return back to their normal lives, but for many, this is their every day. We only experienced one night of it. Josh remembers what it was like 365 days a year. I'm just glad to be out of them. <laughs> I'm glad my family has a roof over their head and food on the table, and, and I'm glad I have a job, a, de a really good job. For 100,000 other veterans, they're not out of it. This is still their reality. They fought for our freedom, just like I did, and they need to come in and they need to, they need a roof over their head. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Garrett Brown, Kylie Thomas, News 10. Operation Vanguard goes on through Monday afternoon. All donations go directly to homeless veterans. To donate to the cause, visit our website, WTHITV.com.